Well, in this next tutorial for um, WordPress, we're going to look through the plugins that I use. And so I'm going to go in and show you how to add plugins to your site, as well as um, run you through the plugins that we need to install. So if you're a 714 person, I want you to install these plugins in every site we do. And for all the rest of you guys, this is a good help. So if you've never installed a plugin in WordPress, you're going to need to go over to the sidebar here and click plugins. And you can see install plugins and add new. Let's look at what is installed first. So already installed in this client, we've got Akismet, Google Analytics, Jetpack by WordPress, um, Mojo Marketplace, Optin, and WForms Lite. I'm going to delete Mojo Marketplace because I don't like it. I don't want it in my systems. So it's deleted successfully, it says. Let's make sure it did because I really want it out of here. Okay, these are the ones I like. I'm not turning Jetpack on yet because I'll have to show you how that works later, how to set it up. <clears throat> but for now, um, let's just go in and add the other ones. So we're going to go to Add New. And remember this, as you add them, it doesn't mean that um, they're turned on. They won't be turned on until you click to Enable. So a Kismet's already in there, so I'm going to go to my next one, which is all, I'm going to put actually WP Security. Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong, no I am, it's the right place. So WCP Security, it's um, all in one WP Security and Firewall right here. This is it. This is the one I like. There's a bunch of other ones. You can choose which one you like, but I'm using this one. It's the most important piece to your website, folks. Getting security on your website is the most important piece. You can see there's 600,000 plus active installs. Whereas the rest of these guys, it's less. This one has a lot. This one has a lot. But I'm telling you, as far as what I've seen, this is the best. I'm going to go ahead and activate it because it can start working for me automatically. I haven't set it up yet. I'll set it up later. But this one, I want to go ahead and have activated. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one, another new one. So that's that one. Search plugins. Let's see. If you want something that's really cool as far as buddy press, that's cool. I'm going to go for right here. Look at this. It's already got it. WP Super Cache. If you don't have Jetpack, Akismet, or WP Super Cache, go ahead and install them. So these are already in here. This one is not. I'm going to go ahead and install it. This is the one I like. I'll show you how to set it up later. So that's that one. I'm marking off my list. All right, so that one's going. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. You still have to go set it up, but I want it to be active. It can be doing stuff. Look at this. It tells you some stuff here. Wow. If you just installed WP Super Cache for the first time, you can dismiss this message. Otherwise, you should probably refresh the login cookies of all logged in WordPress users here by clicking, I'm gonna do it anyway. So I might have to log back in. This is really cool, it's a new security warning I haven't seen before in WP Super Cache. I didn't even set it up. So that's great. Now understand if you do something like that, it will log everyone out, so be careful. All right, I'm gonna add new. I wanna get my CMS tree page view. See if here it is. CMS. CMS tree page view. There it is. I like this because it gives you a tree view, pages, and custom posts. It's very, very helpful. You can drag and drop to reorder stuff. So that's very helpful. I'm going to leave that unactivated because I don't need it activated yet. I want to get my favorite social buttons that I like. There's more out there, but trust me, I'm getting you there quicker. By just doing this, we get there quicker. Um, you can go search all the stuff you want to search. If you want to search like social buttons, you can just do it right here. Look, social buttons. And all this stuff is free, folks, for the most part. I mean, there's you can pay for stuff out there, but look at this. This is so good. Floating sidebars. Look at that. I'm going to add that. This is great. I love it. I might even test this one. 
So you get what you want. See how I just did that? Boom, boom, boom. Added me a few. Let's try another one. You know, just for you guys to see what this does. Um, something else I want to get is a contact plugin. Let's see contact. Here's contact form seven, WP forms, which you already have in. This is a great drag and drop builder. You can do it that way. Contact form seven is is a very interesting one. My favorite one that doesn't exist anymore is one that I'd like to put here. Look, constant contact, install. Um, for this, it might be good to have like constant contact, so I'll add it for this client because they probably will use it. Um, I'll add in a couple more. Uh, let's make sure it installs. Um, add one more in here for them to choose from. And then for instance, I want to add something with MailChimp. Watch this. And I'm not activating them. I'm just getting them for later. MailChimp. If you guys use MailChimp, this is huge. Look, contact form extension. So this adds it for contact form 7. So if I'm using contact form 7, there you go. Gravity forms is great, um, but that in Spanish, so... Uh, anyways, these are just these are great little installs. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to do Google AdSense. Google Analytics for WordPress is already in, in here. Um, wow, here's something cool. I was going to do this later. Yoast is one of my ones I got on my search, so I'm marking Yoast off. I use this. I'll show you how to set it up later. So Yoast SEO, huge benefit. This is one of our secret sauces in the background. You're finding out our secret sauce, the secret sauce. You need the secret sauce from um, 714. That is our secret sauce. Um, I need to put Google AdSense. There's analytics. Yoast, good deal. Um, let's see here. These are all by other folks. Let's see if I can find the one made by Google. There's one of them made by Google that I like better. It's AdSense dashboard. Sometimes it's hard to find stuff. And I don't see the one I'm looking for. Um, there's one that's it's literally made for um, for Google. I really want to find that one. Here's a Google Maps plugin, which is really nice. <clears throat> I don't see the Google one I like. Let's put in just AdSense. Try it again. Search however you need to do. I'm going to go up here and put in, let's look and see what it says. Recommended. Oh, well, that's this isn't exactly what I was looking for, but here's where you find WooCommerce. This is for storefronts if you want to set up a storefront. Um, I'll show you how to do WooCommerce another day. I'll write that down. WooCommerce tutorial for you guys for another day. I have set up a number of those sites, and it really is a huge help. Um, I'm just really wanting... I'm going to click this word chimp that I want to try. Um, oh, here's all in one WP migration, which I love. Now I can put that off. That's one of the ones I like. So once you get that one, all right, so that's good. If you're doing a word, if you're doing a site, guys, you definitely need to get WooCommerce and add it. I'll add it just for the heck of it, just because it can be one of those ones they can add later if they want it. So there's WooCommerce. All right, so I still haven't found my AdSense. I'm gonna go back. Oh, 
Oh, let's see. Let's look in here and see if this actually replaces it now. Because we have Monster Insights. Quick and easy. Oh, we'll look at that. Adds tracking and everything. All right, well, that's good. We're going to leave that one for now. Um, and then if there's another one, I'll find it later. The next one we're going to is page list. This is another one of the ones I use. Here we go. Page list. Looks like a small thing, but it's very important. If you put in any of these little short codes, it actually adds this to a page. So that can be very helpful uh, beyond what you can imagine. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. I love page dash list. So you can see I search page dash list. Um, I'm going to go to back in here, add new. Quick dash page. No, no, it's quick page. It's quick page redirect. See if it'll pull it up with just search quick page. Here it is. This is it. This is the best redirect I've found. Love it. Boom, got it. All right, check that one off. And then I use an RSS importer to automate stuff on our sites or reposting. So let's go in here. might have gotten rid of it. It's one of those ones that I have in mind. So here's what you have to do. If you have something like this, I'll explain what you've got to do. So sometimes you can't find the plugin in here. So for RSS Multi Importer, I own it. So that means I'm going to put it in my Dropbox for my team to use. And I suggest saving you know, plugins that you really like because sometimes they get, um, this happens to them, they just get taken down. So once you do, you have one you love, save it to your desktop, press upload plugin, and you can choose the file in a zip format and upload the entire thing. So you can install it all by uploading here. And I'll show you what I mean. So we've got one, we got one um, company that we, we love using their stuff and it's Elegant Themes. And so, wow, this is great. So. In here, we get a lot of their stuff we like. And so, in Elegant Themes, you can log in, download their um, their plugins by just clicking. So you can go in and do like Bloom email opt-ins. I love this. This is one I want our clients to have. So team members, I want you to have Bloom email opt-ins. I want you to have Monarch um, social media sharing. I'll, those are gonna, we keep those in a file inside of 714's Dropbox so you can put them in. For you guys that don't have that, come to Elegant Themes, you can buy these, and you upload them by downloading them from this site, and you go back in here and click Choose File, and you upload it from your downloads. So then I would just go to my downloads after I downloaded it and upload it here. Um, let me see if I can show you how it works with one of them. It might take me a second to log in. Um, let's see if it works. Nope, it hasn't found my login, so I'm not going to do it today. But anyways... You just upload it here, and then once it's done, boom, it embeds and it's in your install plugins. So that's how you add them from outside of the library. Now, inside of here, we have to go in and actually activate all of these that we want to use. So I immediately want to use my page tree view. I don't want to use my migration yet. I'm not migrating anything now. <clears throat> I am not going to use the contact seven form. I am going to use these guys. Crafty social buttons. I am going to use Jetpack. Take it a second. I'm going to close that for now because I don't want to do that yet. But this is where this all sets up. So I can set all this up by connecting to WordPress.com, which I need to do from my account personally to set things up. But I'm not doing that for this client. I don't want my stuff in there. Um, I would if it were my own. I'll show you on another site how that works um, and, and demonstrate it. I'm not setting up WooCommerce form right now. I do need the quick page redirect and then I need Yoast. 
So I'm going to set those guys up, and then that's it. So this is what I'm setting up for now for this client. Now I'm going to go through and show you how to set up each one of these um, plugins one by one and how to use them. So that's the plugins I use. You've got our secret sauce. Um, go set your site up, get it going, and then come back for the next tutorial because in that one I'm going to take you through each one of these and setting them up. I'm going to start with all-in-one WP security, which is the most important. Securing the site before you develop the site is the most important thing because why develop it if you're not going to secure it and all your work is lost? All right, thanks for tuning in. Come check back with our next tutorial, and we'll show you so much more about what